Welcome to IRO 2022. Uh, this is Black Shape Stand. We are at Friedrich Safe in Germany. And this is actually the first show after three years of pause because of COVID. We are very excited actually to be here, uh, you know, live uh, in our stand. Uh, so we introduced to the European market uh, this configuration. This is a Gabriel, it's, a, it's our certified aircraft. But this is the model BK160-TR. It's a training configuration. Um, well, the, the, the specific thing that we wanted to address with this uh, aircraft uh, is very simple. In the past four or five decades, uh, nobody decided to design an, an aircraft specifically for training. Um, and, and the majority of aircraft that you, know, you fly, even in a training organization, are very good aircraft, nice commuting aircraft, but they were designed for a different role. Eventually, we were so successful with the transitions also into the training. Um, with this aircraft, we, we simply um, thought what are the characteristics uh, for a machine that needs to really raise the bar of the airmanship for the cadets. And um, as you can see, there's a clear inspiration by a lot of military trainers, starting with the tandem configuration, uh, so you sit basically one behind the other. The instructor sits in the back, the cadet sits in the front. Um, and this, this gives actually uh, the, the big advantage for the cadet, for the student, to be uh, alone in the cockpit. And so the tradition of military training is different, so the student sits alone. And this gives actually a, a, a much bigger um, uh, boost to the airmanship because you know they, they need to develop the uh, the management the, of the aircraft, the airframe, uh, completely alone, of course, under the guidance uh, of the of the instructor. But that's only this is not the only characteristic. Actually, uh, we were working a lot on the uh, handling characteristics, on the flying characteristics. Um, actually, I, I like to say this is an aircraft which is very easy to fly, but it's quite difficult to fly well. Uh, because it needs to uh, challenge the pilot uh, in terms of uh, the range of speeds, in terms of the, well, the power to weight ratio uh, is, is quite uh, significant. So even the rate of climb is, is quite important compared to other aircraft with, with piston engine. Uh, and also the, the cockpits, which we'll see in a second, uh, is designed um, to, to really boost uh, this, uh, this um, uh, a training for, uh, for all student pilots. We already have uh, Arctic customers, including some airlines. Uh, actually, one of our launch customers is, uh, is Transavi, is a, a European airline part of uh, Air France KLM Group. And, and with them, actually, we develop a very uh, nice program to train their pilots. This is the inside of the bk 160 tr We have two identical cockpits. Uh, as you can see, also the human machine interface is designed in a way that we give um, well, very good visibility. We have a bubble canopy, uh, so if you never experience flying into a military aircraft, uh, well, the, the visibility is completely different. Actually, the awareness that you have is, is totally different. Um, so the, there's a, basically a very large portion that you see outside. Um, but then if you look inside, uh, we have this large aero display where all the avionics is Garmin um, and with the backup instrument. Uh, you have all the with communication, uh, you have all the engine and fuel management and lights here on the right, and you have all the throttle and the uh, configuration of the aircraft. So you have flaps, landing gear. Well, this is of course a retractable uh, undercarriage and 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 variable pitch uh, propeller aircraft. Uh, the other thing that we introduce is a uh, this aircraft is an um, electric system designed by ourselves um, with electronic circuit breakers. So basically. Both um, uh, pilots sitting in, in the cockpit in front and back have identical access to everything. So the instructor in the back can do really everything um, and, and can also, let's say, uh, offer guidance to the, to the cadet in a much better way. Um, in terms of um, performances, um, typically the, the rate of climb of this machine is uh, uh, 1,500 feet a minute. Um, you can easily achieve a cruise speed of 150 knots. Um, and, uh, but apart from the numbers, the, the real thing that we've been working on is the handling quality. So the precision of the flight controls, the so-called flight path stability, uh, is something that we really worked on very hard uh, to make an aircraft that you can really uh, fly through a, a, a flight pattern that they have in mind. So basically, if you start 
uh, looking outside, you really uh, can, can move the plane you know, along the flight pattern that you have in mind. Another characteristic that we were working on on this aircraft is, uh, well, the advantage of having a, a tandem aircraft is it is quite roomy. I mean, I'm not very tall, but uh, I can really sit very comfortably. And also, I mean, much bigger people can really uh, stay in a very comfortable way. And uh, well, I'll just give you an example. Once you close the canopy, you can see that basically I have no obstacle, so I can really well, have a nearly 360 view you know, around myself, uh, which again gives a, a very big awareness of you know, everybody flying around, I mean, all obstacles and everything. Just a couple of things on this aircraft. Um, we have a four cylinder, so fuel consumption is reasonable. Um, we have uh, around 150 liters uh, fuel tank, meaning that we have uh, more than three hours plus reserve, um, which is well, sufficient to do basically everything, even say recreation, flight, or training. Uh, another thing that we uh, invested since the very beginning, the entire airframe is made uh, with carbon fiber. We use a pre prec technology, which is just to make a comparison, the same as the Boeing 787 or now the Airbus A350. Um, so basically we, we mold all our parts um, and, and this gives actually a very big advantage. For instance, the fuselage is only two different parts uh, bonded together, uh, which gives a very big strength. But also there's the advantage that the maintenance is, is very reasonable. I mean, th there's no uh, inspections basically, you know, uh, in the life of the aircraft. And, uh, and me also, let's say, managing eventual uh, unexpected damages is, is, is very easy. So we have been talking about the training aircraft, but let me spend a few words on uh, our vision. Uh, when we started the company 10 years ago, we, we know that we were, and we still are, newcomers in the aviation industry. Uh, and uh, we, we try just to bring our small contribution to, to that community. Um, we just think it's, it's a pity that aviation, what well, the emotions connected to aviation only belong to a very small group of people, the pilots. And uh, we're working, we've been working these years to, uh, to make this community a bit bigger, uh, uh, more accessible and more inclusive. For this reason, we concentrated uh, our efforts uh, also on the recreation market. So we, we designed uh, our aircraft, the Prime, but also the Gabriel um, for pilots that want, you know, just a recreation aircraft. They want to enjoy the flying uh, not necessarily to commute, of course it's an aircraft so you can move yourself and another person from A to B, but, uh, uh, but, but the, 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 the spirit is just to uh, make sure that the experience of flight is excellent. And we, uh, we work basically on three different aspects, um, performance, visibility and airline qualities. Um, performance is, is of course uh, paramount, so this is a crisp aircraft. Uh, we're very favorable power to weight ratio, both the Prime and the Gabriel, um, and is a well, remarkable uh, uh, climb uh, rate and, and also cruise speed. Um, visibility is, is another thing which is, in our opinion, part of the experience because um, I think very few people uh, set in, a, in, a, in the cockpit or, I don't know, F-16 or a fighter jet or a Formula One car, uh, so very few people really experience the effect of uh, driving, well, basically, you know, feeling the aircraft as an extension of our body, you know, like if we really have our wings. And the third thing is, uh, is the, the, the ending qualities. I think uh, when we drive a car, we can immediately recognize the precision of the steering wheel, the precision of the brakes. Well, in aviation, there's a similar concept. We try to develop uh, all these aspects in a way that the precision of the flight controls, the precision of the throttle lever, well, the quality of, of, the, of the manufacturing is, is in a way that you can really think what you want to do and the aircraft needs really to follow your thoughts. Um, and, and I mean, apparently the feedback we receive from our customer is, is very positive. So I really hope that uh, all of you will have the chance to, to fly. I mean, even, you know, just once in life on our aircraft and, and experience uh, to have wings.